Oh, hey! Welcome to Saturday, and another start to the Pittsburgh Picker three-day weekend of sales. Never took a left. All right, so today is Saturday, April 17th, and we've got what I would call an eclectic mix of sales. It's just been, it's all over the place. Now we've got clothing, we got holsters, we got some weird magazines. It's just crazy. So we're going to get started with the first thing up and the last time I'm going to talk about this because I was wrong. I thought we sold the last two, but we didn't. Um, there's actually one more. And this is a Maryland holster. You guys have heard me say this about 55 times because I think that's how many we had of these. Uh, these are women's holsters for this is for a Caltech 9mm pistol. Hangs on the bra. Last time, $12 plus shipping. Sad to see them go because we did make a pretty good amount of money. We bought the whole box for, we paid a dollar a piece basically because there was 50 of them in there. We paid $50 for the box and we made our money back. I think we quadrupled, if not five times our money on that one. Next up, I told you it's a mix. This is an African dashiki uh, pullover shirt, size extra large. Um, I believe it's from Nigeria. So, authentic. Um, this sold for $20 plus shipping. Uh, we're going to hang this back up because I feel like that would wrinkle easily. <laughs> Next up, uh, cool story behind this. We found this box at the Goodwill bin. So we paid about a quarter for an empty box. Um, well, it wasn't totally empty. It had the manual and everything in it, but just not the game. So bought the box for about a quarter, bought the game on eBay for $13 and sold this complete in a box $35. How about that? This is the Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass for the Nintendo DS. $35 plus shipping. Crafty, huh? Mm -hmm. Smart one. <laughs> Next up, these are Washington Reporter or Observer slash Reporter newspapers from uh, 1898, 1871, and 1936. All three of those, those dates were bad day well the dates in particular i got tuesday thursday and thursday so those three days were not good days around here they were all three days were floods in the pittsburgh area and someone had collected those three newspapers uh and we bought them and then we sold them ten dollars plus shipping next up some more uh ephemera is what we're what i what i was told it's called old paper, magazines, things like that. Um, this is a Vintage Country Song Roundup, number nine, from 1953. Check that out. That's, it. That's country right there. <laughs> uh, this is uh, just a picture magazine, sold for $3.25, plus shipping. A big money maker there, but, you know, take what you can get. Next up, we got some cups. I told you, it's all over the place. We got some tumblers. Bought them at Walmart, as you can see, for five bucks. Um, these sold for $19. Took an offer, we were asking 22 So $19 plus shipping. Take that price tag off before I ship them. I don't want to rub it in anybody's face. Next up is a dress. I had to get some advice to make sure this was the right dress, because you know, me and women's clothes. Uh, this is a summer dress. It's Apt 9? Apartment 9? I don't know. Apartment 9? Sarah just says Apartment 9. Apartment 9! Yep, there we go. Um, she describes it as cute. <laughs> Isn't it cute? Um, Ben's pick from Sarah. So, probably paid a dollar for it. $16 plus shipping. Next up, you'll... <laughs> this is from Monday's video. The Epic Estate Sale. The Trilogy. Number three. Three times we've been in those two houses. It's amazing. And every time we've come out with these. These are Orlon Nylon Booties. These sold immediately when we put them up. I, 
if, if I could find a bag full of these things, I'd retire. Um, these are size 911 pack of three. So the value pack of the Orlon nylon booties. Ready for this one? $25 plus shipping. Brand new, they were $2.37. And someone paid $25 plus shipping. We have found out that Orlon has been discontinued. Not for any reason, but DuPont decided to look it up last night. So, little history lesson for you. DuPont decided to discontinue the Orlon. So, people actually are looking for Orlon stuff because they don't make it anymore. So, if you come across anything with the Orlon in it, it probably has some value. So, if you come across those booties, they have value. Next up, last one of these two. Um, this is a Miss, Mrs. Marvel Volume 2. You've seen us sell a few of these. We got them at uh, Ollie's Bargain Outlet. wish my camera would cooperate and focus. There we go. Mrs. Marvel Volume 2. The one with the lightning bolt is a seller. Still sealed, new in the package. Sold for $12. Free shipping. Next up, some magazines. And uh, covers a little scandalous. But it's legal. Everything's covered. It's a tattoo magazine. Um, these are vintage tattoo magazines. These um, are a lot of four tattoo magazines from 2013-2014. Uh, these sold for $14 plus shipping. Next up, a blankie. This blankie. It's a very large baby blankie. Um, size 4848. This is not going to be cheap to ship. Um, Sarah's mom found it and uh, we decided to sell it. Uh, sold for $16 free shipping. Uh, this is might not be a money maker, but uh, you know, we appreciate when people give us stuff for free. Thanks, mom. Next up, oh, this, today's full of comedy and full of some very weird buys and very weird sales, but this one has some drama behind it. They sold again. The diapers have sold. All three of them that we had left because we got we got three returned. Uh, we sold four, got three back, sold three again. $39 free shipping. If these come back, we have decided that we're going to burn them. <laughs> no, we're not going to burn them. But they are probably going either back to the bins or in the trash can because we're not selling them for a third time. Or ever. Again. I mean... No. It's not happening. Nope. Happening. $39 for the stupid diapers. Don't buy them if you ever see them. Not worth it. Ever. Alright, we had a little bit of a tragedy. Something fell behind the thing, so I'm back. Well, next up, these are Hydra Skin. I told you, weird stuff today. Hydra Skin Titanium Socks. They're neoprene medium booties. Wet booties. They look like that. <laughs> They're brand new with the tags. Um, they are LL Bean. So, LL Bean, brand new with the tags. Uh, these sold for $12 plus shipping. I don't know if you should, I mean, if you can find those, they're worth it. That's pretty decent money for something that's not going to cost a lot to ship. Next up is a men's Timberland shirt. You saw Sarah get this on Sunday's bins video. It's a green Timberlands flannel short sleeve shirt. Uh, I guess we'll call this plaid, not flannel, because it's not really all that warm. Um, men's size, large, sold for $10, plus shipping. She's been doing good at the bins lately. We've been going outside of the realm of jeans and just buying designer stuff, and it seems to be working out for us. So, Next up, military surplus bag back here. This is a military surplus army combat field pack. Um, it's a rucksack, I guess. It's one of these seen them. Um, not vintage. Uh, sold for $15 plus shipping. More weird stuff. Got this back here. This is a uh, electromagnetic radiation tester. Mm -hmm. That's right. <laughs> yeah, it's a EMF meter electromagnetic radiation detector with LCD display. Who doesn't need one of these? Sold for $15 free shipping. Except, I'm surprised these took so long to sell, to be honest with you, because they're pretty cool. These are uh, Nike running shorts, new with the tag, and this really fly pattern. 
<laughs> they're the uh, Stay Cool Nike running shorts, sold for $15 plus shipping. All right, and last for today, this is a uh, women's size large tie-dye three-quarter sleeve. Yeah, three-quarter sleeve. Mm -hmm. um, brown tie-dye shirt, sold for $14.50 plus shipping. What's the brand on this? Traced? Traced? I don't know. Here, you can look. There you go. $14 plus shipping. Well, everybody, happy Sunday. Today is Sunday, April 18th. It was kind of slow today. Mm -hmm. A little nervous about that one. <laughs> Sundays are normally a really good day for us, and this wasn't so good. Uh, well, it wasn't bad, but it just uh, nine items we sold today. This is kind of eh. You know, I mean, nothing too earth shattering, but you know, we're going to get into it. So, first thing on the list is a book. It is uh, Lost Detroit. Um,. It's just a book. I'm not sure where we found this, to be perfectly honest with you. It looks like it's in pretty good shape. I think we found this at an estate sale, actually. Um, probably paid a couple bucks for it. Sold it for $7.43. Obviously, we took an offer. <laughs> Plus shipping. Next on the list is back here. This is a flannel. Um, it's just a L.L. Bean flannel. Um, we found this at the bins. Uh, we thought it would be worth a lot more, but it has a little hole in the back. And... So it's just not worth as much. Uh, size double XL and men sold for twelve dollars. Free shipping. Next up is this. Apparently, this is a beauty blender. <laughs> it's a sponge shaped like an egg, but I guess it's how people put makeup on. I don't know. If you see these out there sealed like this one was, um, pick them up because this is worth twelve dollars. Free shipping, and it's light. Next up, here's a little bit of a bolo for you guys. I didn't know about this either, but this is a Belgium flax linen ruffled shower curtain from Pottery Barn. So just shower curtain, linen, shower curtain, uh, size 72, 72, 72. Ordinarily, I'd say this is probably worth about $20. It's not. We sold it for $45 plus shipping. So there's the front label for you guys. And there's the back label. It's a uh, $74.99 brand new. So wow. <laughs> That's an expensive shower curtain. It's it's a shower curtain is what we're gonna call it because it's gotta be fancy. <laughs> so that's I don't know. Next up is a record. Uh, one of our higher price records that we haven't uh, that we've sold in a while. I've been selling. We've been selling kind of through the the crap that we have left over from our or the large Christmas haul that we had. Um, this is Sticks Caught in the Act Live two LP set. Uh, let's see if I can get that focus a little better. Um, this is a pretty cool album. It's a uh, Sticks Live and um, from 1984. So this sold for eleven dollars, free shipping. Next up, it's our saving grace for the day. Well, that and the sh this and the shower curtain. Um, we sold a Nike golf jacket. It's a just a light jacket. Uh, it's got like you know, kind of like some extra room here for your golf swing and stuff. Uh, it is brand new with the tag right here. Retailed for. Well, it's got somebody's sale price sticker on it, 109 on sale. So I'm guessing this was a, close to a $200 jacket, brand new. Uh, and people love the the neons. Uh, this guy will be well seen in the golf course if he's wearing this. Or girl, could be a girl, sure. Why not? Um, $45 plus shipping on the Nike jacket. We really thought the same person that bought the jacket bought this. It's a Nike sweatband, and look at the color. It's gray with green, so I thought, yeah, it's probably the guy who bought the jacket, right? No, it's not. Somebody just bought it right after him, uh, or her. Uh, sold for $6, plus shipping. Some jeans, some Levi's. These are Levi's 517 boot cut, uh, size 3430. Uh, just your run-of-the-mill blue jean. They're a little darker than normal, but nothing too fancy. Uh, they look like they've never been worn or worn maybe once or twice. $13, plus shipping. And last for today really heavy and big book we got this from uh ollie's bargain outlet this is clint eastwood 
icon we're big Clint Eastwood fans so we obviously were drawn to this book pretty much right away um, this is a art, uh, essential film art collection of Clint Eastwood sold for $17 free shipping hello happy Monday today's Monday April 19th and yesterday was slow today was the opposite of that in fact it was really really the opposite of that so we got a lot to go over we're gonna get into it right now i'm gonna stop chatting and we're just gonna fire right into it starting with this book I'm saying cryel but i'm not sure i'm gonna jack that up it's like a latin religious book of some sort um not 100 percent certain from 1927 chants and hymns and music is in here uh sold for six dollars free shipping next up some jeans these jeans so let's get these at um the thrift store on monday's video the sandblasted jeans that sarah called them these are american eagle sandblasted jeans um size 34 32 uh these sold for 12 dollars plus shipping next up uh we sold two of these uh jeans these have been with us for a while and it was one of the reasons we stopped buying black denim because it just doesn't sell very well um these are two let us said two lee jeans uh 40 29 and 40 30 in black um these both together sold for 18 dollars free shipping so um not only are they black but they are lee and they're not the made in the usa lee either so they they took a little while to sell um and black denim for some reason just doesn't sell as well as the blue denim so we're swearing off of it for a while, unless we find something really cool, then all bets are off. Uh, next up is a vintage t-shirt. This is a Stanley Mouse design t-shirt. I don't know what that is <laughs> at all, uh, but it is kind of a designer style shirt. This was in with the box of boxes of uh, activewear that we bought. It's a pretty cool shirt. It's got the tag still on it. Um, it this is a uh, men's size medium sold for $20 plus shipping how about that that's what a designer clothing will do i guess t-shirt for twenty dollars not me today's vandalay industries six dollar tees <laughs> this next up is a shirt is a, is a shirt is a jacket it's a puffer jacket an eddie bauer puffer jacket um camo brand new with tags um size medium uh, maybe this doesn't have the tags on it, so. Nope. No tag. Uh, so, new without tags, size medium, Eddie, Eddie Bauer jacket, sold for $40, plus shipping. This was also in with the uh, active wear stuff. I mean, I guess this jacket could be considered active wear, right? Next. How adorable. This is a uh, Cabbage Patch. Babble and Fun comes with a complimentary cassette tape. Look at that surprise expression. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this is Cabbage Patch doll from 1998 with cassette tape. Uh, new in the box, sold for $20 plus shipping. This would have sold for a lot more. Except, if you look right there, her dress is a little stained. So, I had to let her go for a little bit less. But, $20 plus shipping, not bad. Right here. Next up, uh, somebody bought two pairs of jeans off of us. I keep telling you guys to keep an eye out for these things. Uh, these are those Elite Extreme Motion jeans again uh, with the elastic uh, waistband, and they're really stretchy. Uh, somebody bought two pairs of them. We get these at the, the Red, White, and Blue thrift store that we go to all the time. So two pairs of Elite Extreme Motion jeans. These are both size 38, 32. Uh, both of these together sold for $18 plus shipping. So that jean price sounds a little low, and it is. And I forgot to tell you that actually he had sent us an offer um, with ever, with shipping. He just messaged us and said $34 free shipping. When you do that, will you do that? And we said yes. So that's actually what they sold for. They sold for $34 free shipping. So if you take, it's going to cost us about 7 or 8 bucks to ship them. So take the 8 bucks off of the shipping, and that's what we made on them. So uh, sounded low, but it's uh, $18 free or, uh plus shipping we're actually only paying for sh he paid for shipping twice and we're paying for it once so anyways next up uh this is a victoria's secret pink tank top um size medium 
found this at the bins. Um, this is sold for $13, free shipping. If there's any confusion, that was a women's size medium. <laughs> Next up, you saw me pick this up on Monday's video. This is an original PlayStation. Original PlayStation actually came with a bonus game. Uh, it came with NHL 2000. I didn't sell it because uh, it's really not worth all that much, and I could always use an extra game to test uh, these things. So it uh, works perfectly. Just cleaned it up a little with some alcohol. It was a little dirty. Um, the controller, it comes with uh, one controller and the AV cord and the power cord. Sold for $79 plus shipping. Next up, another t-shirt. This is a uh, PacSun t-shirt. Um, this was in with, again, all that active wear. Uh, this is just a PacSun three-quarter sleeve t-shirt. Um, let's see, it says baseball camo on here. Uh, men's size medium, sold for $12 plus shipping. Next up, it's hanging right here. It's a Nike uh, hoodie, brand new, with the tag right there. Um, this sold for $40, free shipping. Again, more of that active wear purchase, same, coming from the same source. This is an interesting one. This might be a bolo for you guys. Um, only if you can find them new, but uh, we didn't know that these were worth as much money as they were. Um, these are Brookstone Tranquil Moments Bluetooth speakers. So I guess there's some science behind them. There's uh, 12 sounds, sleep sounds on here, as well as a Bluetooth speaker for your phone. It goes next to your bed. Um, these are brand new in the box. Um, they have like, you know, some kind of science behind what they're, they're uh, the sounds that they're playing. So uh, these, we sold two of these because we have two of them. Uh, each one sold for $60 plus shipping. So, if you guys see these out there, um, they come in white and black. Um, they are certainly worth a grab if they are brand new in the box. There's the black one if you guys want to see what that looks like. So, yeah, keep an eye out for these. Next up, another Nike jacket. This is a Nike full zip training jacket in gray. Uh, men's size medium, uh, new with the tags. Just a running jacket, sold for $20 plus shipping. Next up... A t shirt. This is an HM t shirt, new with the tags. Um, HM stuff doesn't sell for a lot of money, so this is just a you know plain blue t shirt with buttons on it. Sold for five dollars plus shipping. It's a men's size medium as well. Another t shirt. <laughs> this one's worth a little more money though. Uh, this is a dry fit Nike t shirt. We we had we sold one of these already, but we had two of them. Uh, new with the tags, sold for thirteen dollars, free shipping. Record is the next one is Eddie Rabbit Love Line. Look at that. <laughs> uh, this is a uh, original pressing of this record sold for not much, $2.50 plus shipping. So you probably skip that record if you see it at the garage sale. Next up, some Nike track pants. I know there's a lot of here. Uh, these are Nike track pants. These are brand new with the tags, men's size medium, sold for $15 plus shipping, just some black track pants. Nothing too, too special about that. Uh, this next one, I'm actually going to put a picture of it right here, show you a little bit better what it looks like. Um, it's in this bag, so, and it's kind of a unique item. Um, I was surprised at how much this was worth. I thought I, and it, it's not new with the tags, so. Um, this is a Quicksilver shirt. Um, it's a beach shirt. It's like a wetsuit type of material. Um, this is men's size medium. It's a 40 chest. This sold for $13 uh, without the tags plus shipping. Next up is a book. We got a couple of these at the bins. This is uh, The Bogart by Susan Cooper. Um, $3 plus shipping. <coughs> Next up, Nike Sweatband. Oops, upside down. Nike Sweatband. Uh, brand new in the box. Sold for $6.50 plus shipping. Got some Adidas track pants here. These are Adidas black and white track pants. Um, new with the tags. Um, they got the stripes down here at the bottom. And they're just black basketball slash gym pants here. Um, sold for $26.50. Free shipping. And last for today, Redhead Cabbage Patch Kid from the 1980s. Uh, we're not sure exactly what her year is, but uh, she sold for $25 plus shipping. 
All right, guys, that's it for the weekend plus Monday video. Uh, thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you haven't, please subscribe to the channel. Just click that button. It's like right here, I think. Just click that. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Sorry it uh, took so long today, but uh, we got a lot of cells, so had to get all that in. Thanks so much. Bye. Good day, sir.